heads of the Inter-Religious Council of Uganda have condemned in no uncertain terms the way police and security agents have been managing public order. The clerics called for the immediate arrest and prosecution of those responsible for brutalizing what they called peaceful demonstrators. We also demand the immediate resignation of Minister of Internal Affairs and the Inspector General of Police over this and the other incidents of police brutality against innocent Ugandans. According to the council, the minister and the police chief should take responsibility for the events in the country in the last few weeks. In particular, the clerics cited the violent manner FDC President Dr. Besige was arrested on Thursday. The chairman of the council's peace task force wondered why police did not take action on the security agent who broke the windows of Besige's car. Police is responsible for maintaining public order. What that man was doing is what robbers do. So I would have expected the police to arrest him as a robber or a thug, as one who is breaking in somebody else's, somebody else's car. On whether the religious leaders should involve themselves in politics, Dr. Nyeringie says there is a difference between partisan and non-partisan politics. He says clerics are leaders in the same society that has political leaders, and so they have the right to freely speak on issues affecting society. You should be the first to say, we expect the religious leadership to hold all levels of leaders accountable. This is part of the core on the religious leadership. Appreciating that emotions are running high in the opposition and government sides and that it could get worse, the Inter-Religious Council stresses need for immediate and structured dialogue between the parties. They argue that the cause of the violence did not only affect the opposition but the whole country. Stop talking about talking. Get on and talk. Dialogue, because we've been talking about talking for too long. Let the talking actually begin. Let I see them seated together. We are different stakeholders. Surely all of us must participate because this is our Uganda. Bishop Nyingie also stressed the need for dialogue between the media and the Broadcasting Council to clearly define what constitutes incitement so that there is no misinformation to the public. Josephine Karunji, NTV.